Hi there and welcome to this origami design tutorial where we'll be going through the basics of exporting. Origami design is made so that you can easily export your designs onto the iPad and see if your interactions work or not. To do that you go to file and export. You get this drop down menu with a lot of options. So I suggest you go with production mode because development will not compress your PNGs. Down here you can choose what device family you want to export to, if you want to export to both or just one of them. I'll uncheck iPad Retina because I only want the iPad. You can select what orientation you want to export, I want both. And you can also set what languages you want to export to, I want all languages. Down here you can set what pages you want to export. Right now I only have one page. If I hit current I'll get the selected page which is my only page. If I wasn't, were in a project with multiple pages, I could do, I want to export page 1, 2, 5, and I want to skip page 6, so I hit a comma, and I do 7, then I want to export page 7, 2, through page 10. So that's what that would look like. However, as I said, I only have one page, so I'm going to export that one page. You don't need to pay attention to any of this. Um, you can, uh, of course, um, set an expiration date if you want your project to expire at a specific date, or you can set a password for it. You can also browse here and um, set where you want uh, your project to export to. I want it to export in my export folder, so I'll select that. Down here, you have the preview device. The preview device <coughs> are um, iPads connected to the same Wi-Fi as your computer is connected to so that you can export without using a cable. It's really really nice, it works really fast, I suggest you do use that but I'm gonna do none right now just to show you how to do a transfer through iTunes. So I'll hit export, it'll start exporting and resizing my assets. It goes quite quickly. I'll go over to iTunes where I have selected my iPad and up here on apps, we'll go all the way down to origami view, our view on the iPad. Hit add, I'm now in my export folder where I exported the project and I'll go find the OEP. That's that, it's syncing over to my iPad so let's go check that out. Here we have the file, when I click on it, it will start downloading it and then showing it. You can see the thumbnail and the title and I go in here and I can try it out. Works really nice. So another way you can do it is to just go to preview and select your target device again if it's connected on the same Wi-Fi. If you do this it will keep all of your settings that you've done here in export. So I should suggest you use export the first time you're in a project and then afterwards you can just use the preview button.